commitment, and I was just not prepared to make it. After the midterm elections in 2010, have you given any thought to possibly running for president in 2012? Well, some people around me have given some thought about it. I really haven't. I mean, I've, I've learned a long time ago never to say never. I think it's unlikely, but uh, right now I'm really focused on, I'd like to help uh, Mitch McConnell get a few more bodies in the Senate, and I certainly want to go back to Pennsylvania and do all I can to see that we have a Republican uh, governor succeeding the incumbent. But if you were to run, what what questions would you ask yourself? What would you take into account if you thought about possibly pursuing a 2012 no, not, bid? Not just about me. I think uh, whoever runs for president has to have a um, has to have a design, a plan, a roadmap to a better future for America. And and you know, President Obama did a masterful job when he talked about hope, and he talked about change. Now, I'm not sure. When he talked about change, everyone thought it would be the kind of dramatic change in, in policy that we've seen for the past six months. But if you read some of his works, you kind of had an idea where he was going. And I think anybody who runs for president, given the fact that the world has, the world shrinks, the use of uh, uh, the economic competitive advantage that we had in the late 20th century in the post-World War II era is gone. We are competing globally. We have to understand that, and our economic policy has to be structured around a way not only to compete but to win. We have to understand that we will not win unless and until we have better education, uh, a better approach, a 21st century approach to education in this country. And so there are just so many, so many social, economic, as well as military and diplomatic issues that have to be engaged in. And whoever runs for that has to have a darn good idea of where they want to be on day one when they're at office. So you have not ruled it out? I've not ruled it out. It's unlikely, Steve, but you know, I've learned a long time ago never to say never. We'll go to George on the phone from Daytona Beach, Florida, with Tom Ridge, former Pennsylvania governor. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking my